In this video, let's see another property based on the transpose of a matrix. We already know what is transpose and we have seen few properties. In this video, we are going to see another property. Let's see what the property is and then we'll see a numerical illustration on the same. So, if A and B are the two matrices, if I have been given two matrices and the names are A and B, and then the product should also be defined. That means it should not be that A and B have such orders that the product cannot be computed. If AB is also defined, then the property says multiplication AB whole transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. That means what? That means I have two matrices, say matrix 1 and 2. And I am supposed to find out the transpose of these matrices. One way is you multiply 1 with 2 and then you take the transpose. The other way is what? You don't multiply 1 with 2. Indeed, you do something called as reversal of multiplication. That means multiplication of matrix 1 with 2 and then whole transpose is actually equal to taking the second matrix first taking the individual transpose and then taking the first matrix, taking the individual transpose and multiplying them. Again, I'm telling you, suppose now I have three matrices, A, B, C, and then whole transpose is taken after multiplication. It is actually equal to what? You go in the reverse manner. You start from the extreme side. You start from the extreme right side. You start from here, so it is equal to what? It is equal to C transpose because C comes first, then B transpose on multiplication, then next which is A transpose on multiplication. So this is something called as this, that if you have three matrices in multiplication, do not go like this, A transpose, multiply, B transpose, multiply, C. No, you have to actually follow the reversal method. The reversal is you start from the extreme right side and then you move towards the left hand side. Now let's see a numerical illustration which will make things much more clearer. Let's erase this first and make space for the solution. We'll be taking two matrices, A and B. And then the matrices should be such that the product should be defined. You cannot take any matrices for that matter, right? Let me write it as example. I have a matrix A. The matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix, which I'll be taking. I'll be taking a matrix B, which will be a 3 by 2 matrix. The reason I have chosen such orders is that the number of columns of the pre-multiplier should be equal to number of rows of the post multiplier, right? So AB should be defined. Now, two rows and three columns, it can be anything. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, two rows, three columns. Here, three rows, two columns. So three rows means what? We can take something one, two, three, four, and five, six. Three rows, two columns. Now, what is the matrix property saying to us? The matrix property says, if you multiply AB and then take the transpose, it is actually equal to B transpose into A transpose. So first multiply the matrices. We take the LHS side. The LHS tells me AB and then whole transpose. This can be computed, but first what you need to see, you need to find out AB and then things will become clear. So let's find out AB. AB is what multiplication of these two matrices, right? So copying the matrices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, copying the second matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now what are we supposed to do? We are basically supposed to follow the same thing, first row, first column, first row, second column and all. Last but not the least, one thing is important that the order of the new matrix will be what? It will be 2 by 2. So you can write here only, it will be a 2 by 2 matrix that you will be getting, right? Now, 2 by 2 matrix, write it as first row, first column. So, 1 1s are is 1, 2 3s are is 6. So, 1 plus 6 has become 7, 3 5s are is 15. I again repeat, 1 1s are is 1, let's write it here so that we don't forget. 2 3s are is 6, 3 5s are is 15, right? Compute the result, 15 plus 6 plus 1. So 15 plus 6 is 21, 21 plus 1 is 22. So the first element is 22. Now, next, 
first row first column done first row second column first row second column what is 1 2 za it is 2 next what is 2 4 za it is 8 next what is 3 6 za it is 18 compute the result firstly 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 18 28 next second row first column so let's highlight the second row i'm making a box now 4 1 za is 4 write it again 4 1 za is 4 5 3 za is 15 next last but not the least 6 5 za makes it 30 compute the results 30 plus 15 is 45 45 plus 4 is 49 so it is 49 last but not the least second row second column 4 2 za makes it 8 next 5 4 za makes it 20 next 6 6 za makes it 36 so it follows something like this 36 plus 8 is 44 44 plus 20 is 64 so you write here 64 this is the result of what let's see now i was supposed to find out a b whole transpose i have found out a b transpose has not been computed till now let's find out the transpose the transpose is very simple things will change as rows to columns columns to rows will interchange so basically now transpose has to be computed transpose has to be computed whole transpose and transpose whole has to be computed and what happens is the result changes 22 49 28 64 that means the rows becomes columns the column becomes rows what has been done we have actually done a b whole transpose that means a b whole transpose was here the first side left hand side has been done what is left b transpose into a transpose is left so let's do the rhs also quickly my rhs would go something like this i make space for my rhs i have to find b transpose first what is b transpose let's write what was b matrix b matrix was here 3 by 2 matrix changes to 2 by 3 2 rows 3 columns 2 rows 3 columns means what 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the rows now these become the columns b transpose done where is a transpose a transpose should be computed from here let's write it as a transpose a new matrix that i get the matrix earlier was 2 by 3 this time it is 3 by 2 3 rows and 2 columns where are the rows these are here 3 rows 2 columns so 1 2 3 becomes my first column 4 5 6 becomes my second column these are done what is left b transpose multiply by a transpose is left so basically i have to multiply these things why because i have to prove this side b transpose multiply a transpose so let's do it b transpose multiply a transpose you copy the matrices and then you multiply where is b transpose it is here 1 4 2 5 3 6 where is a transpose it is here 1 3 5 2 4 6 so it is like 1 3 5 2 4 6 this is 2 by 3 3 by 2 you know you are writing b transpose a transpose you copied first copy b transpose and then copy a transpose we did it interchangingly let's do it again first copy b transpose where is b transpose it is here so it is 1 3 5 2 4 6 where is a transpose it is here you copy it here 1 4 2 5 3 6 now what will be the answer the answer since it is 3 by 3 the order would be 2 by 2 later on and the answer can be computed simply by multiplying things in and subsequently adding them so first row first column first row first column 1 1 za is 1 3 2 za is 6 5 3 za is 15 i write it here 1 plus 6 plus 15 15 plus 6 21 plus 1 22 doing it again first row now with second column so first row now with second column 1 into 4 is 4 3 into 5 is 15 so it is 4 plus 15 5 into 6 is 30 so 5 into 6 is 30 now 15 plus 4 is 19 19 plus 30 is 49 so it is basically 49 
Similarly, do you do it as second row, first column? Two ones are makes it two, four twos are makes it eight, six threes are makes it eighteen. You already know how to do it. I'll simply be writing the result now. Two plus eight, ten. Ten plus eighteen is twenty-eight. Last but not the least, quickly doing without writing orally. Two fours are is eight. Five fours are is twenty. Twenty plus eight has already become twenty-eight. And this is six six are thirty-six. So twenty-eight plus thirty-six is basically what it is sixty-four. Now see the result. Compute and compare the matrix here and the matrix here. Do you find some similarity? Yes, these are equal. So these are basically equal matrices. And the results were for what? The results were for something called as AB whole transpose. You see it here. And for B transpose, multiply A transpose. So what do we learn from this numerical illustration? An example to the property of AB whole transpose is equal to. B transpose multiplied by A transpose.